Folks, <laughs> we're back. Bigger and better. <laughs> With eyes droopier than ever so that I can look more serious. And boy, do I play the part. Sit back, relax, put on your sunglasses, cause the glare from my hair will blind you. I'm Kef Joynenge. And my man. Jeff Koinenge. <laughs> <laughs> the glare from my hair will blind you. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair's pretty shiny. Oh my. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, Kev? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Good of you to see me. <laughs> yeah, good of me to talk to me. <laughs> How's everything? Wonderful. Oh. I have a new book. I hear so. I have a new book. Tell me about it. What's in it? <laughs> it is my life so far. Uh-huh. It's all about growing up, uh -huh. my experiences, uh -huh. family life, uh -huh. my career. Okay. And then what I've become in the last 20 or so years. I was expecting a different answer because the question was, what's in a book? I was expecting white pages with black words. <laughs> the end. <laughs> and some pictures. <laughs> and some pictures here and there. Yeah. I see Tabo Mbeki has read the book. Indeed, he has, oh, and he loved it. He loved it. He loved it. Professor Googie, what's your... Hello. Henry Louis Gates. My goodness. From Harvard University. Ooh. Kinsborough but, Community College. But do I say? Why aren't there any, any, any Kenyan? Institutions. We don't like to read. <laughs> you know we don't read, Kev. You know we don't read. When's the last time you read a book, Kev? Oh, I've been reading this amazing book. <clears throat> it's called My TV Manual. <laughs> Page three. <laughs> Kev, you're going to read one. I'm going to autograph a personal copy to you. Uh -huh. You have to read it. Very good. And spread the word. I will spread it, definitely. Mm. So talk to me. Look, it's been a journey. It's it took me seven years to write this book. Are you a slow writer? <laughs> Did you run out of ink? <laughs> what is it? Why seven years? <laughs> Talk to me. It's, it's, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what strong fingers you have. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, it, it's because it, a, a lot of people think they know me. Uh -huh. A lot has been written about me. Uh -huh. Some true. Mostly not so true. That's your word, not theirs. So I decided, let me set the record straight. Okay. Let me tell it like it is. Okay. Let me start from the beginning. Oh. As, oppo as opposed to starting from where? The, the end? The middle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. You're a funny guy, Kev. You're a funny character. You remind me of me. You or me. So I started from the beginning. Uh -huh. 1966. Okay. Growing up in this family of four kids. Oh. Being raised by a single parent. Oh. It was a tough life. Uh -huh. People thought, you know, people look at me and they say, oh, privilege. He's got a big name, Gina Kubwa. Uh -huh. Gary Kubwa. Uh -huh. Kila Kitu Kubwa. Are you sure about Kila oh, Kitu? Oh, well, well. <laughs> I'm sticking to that story. Uh -huh. So, you know, a tough life growing up. And, and, but, you know, we went to great schools because oh. my mother insisted that the one thing she would give to us is a good education. Hello. I wish your mom was my mom. Is that right? Yes, I learned from the world. And you're you, still learning. I'm still learning. My town are great. <laughs> I'm just like you, yes. but a different way. Yeah, but you're from Gem. Yes, where two out of three people are professors. Clearly, you're the third. Of course. <laughs> so, yes. went to grade school, went to St. Mary's. Yes. That's where I uh, honed my talents in sports. I was, a, I was an athlete. Oh, what games did you play? I was a jock. And you, the picture was, pictures are in there. For people who live in Eastlands, what is a jock? <laughs> I was a sportsman to the core. Okay. Soccer. Uh -huh. Football. Yes. Rugby was my forte. Uh -huh. Basketball. Yes. Hockey. Yes. Swimming. No indoor games. Chess. Draft. Cards. Table tennis. None of those. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so, in fact, I wanted to be an athlete after I left school because okay. I figured I didn't have any talents. I didn't have any, you know, talent to do anything. I couldn't be a doctor, lawyer, uh, accountant. I didn't have those skills. Yes. Even though I was okay in school. Uh huh. But I figured, you know what? I'll go the easy route. I'll Which be an athlete. Uh -huh. How far did that go? Oh, not too far. Short-lived career? Short-lived. My mother told me, what if you break a leg? What if something happens and, you know, your career is destroyed at the age of 18? And so another dream began. Another dream began. Uh -huh. So tell me. I saw an ad in the paper. Uh -huh. Pan Am, yes. the airline, back then, was looking for flight attendants. You were in a Kenya. flight attendant? My goodness. Oh my. What, did you used to talk like this? Folks, 
sit back. Better yet. We're about to take off. <laughs> Better yet. <laughs> lean forward. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks will be served in a bit. Coffee, tea, or me. <laughs> so that's exactly what I used to do on the plane. Okay, okay, okay. After they, they took us to Miami, Florida for training, uh -huh. and they asked me, listen, Jeff, why don't you do the announcements? Let's hear your voice on the, on the PA system. My goodness. <clears throat> and I started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Pan American Clipper Flight number 089 uh -huh. from Nairobi with continuing services to Lagos, Monrovia, Dakar, and New York. My, oh my. All of us are trained in cabin safety, uh -huh. and we ask that you watch and listen carefully as we review the safety features of this Pan Am Boeing 747. My, oh my. I would board a plane every day just to hear that voice. <laughs> <laughs> so you did that for how long? I did that for a year and a half. Uh -huh. And each time I made that announcement, passengers would applaud. Passengers would tell me, look, kid. It was I'll like a concert. Go to school. You're wasting your time. Just strangers. Strangers telling me this. So a year and a half later, I got the message. It took a while. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm a slow learner. Yes. I could tell from the writing of the book in seven years. <laughs> <laughs> they had one and a half years waiting. Yes. Uh -huh. It's called delay. Yes. <laughs> delay, delay. <laughs> so I packed up, uh -huh. went to school. I studied broadcast journalism. I ended up at NYU, New York University, great school. Okay. <clears throat> and, that, uh, and from there, I started working. I started in the business in America. All right. And you stayed the full four years in school? I, uh, yeah, I did four years. Four, and then I. One of the few Kenyans <laughs> who actually goes to school when they go to the States. <laughs> Others are doing menial jobs, including he came back. pumping gas <laughs> and scraping ice off the roads. Hello. Uh -huh. So I finished, uh -huh. started working, and then I decided, you know what? It's great. I've got these skills. It's great. I'm living in America, working in America. But what's this doing to my people, for my people? I decided to come back home. And you did not even pick that annoying American accent. <gasps> oh, my. One of the few Kenyans. Well, some people claimed I did. <laughs> <laughs> The first time I came back and started reading news on KTN. Yes. Oh my. What goodness. There was an uproar. Uh -huh. The switchboard was on fire. <laughs> Who's that man? Yes. It's the man with the master plan. <laughs> Jeff Koinanga. Correct. Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> so from KTN, I started working for Reuters as well. Africa Journal. Remember that program? Yes. The magazine program? Uh -huh. Fantastic. They, you know, they, they made me fly across Africa, man, and do stories. Yes. And that was my exposure to the continent. Uh -huh. From Reuters, CNN came calling. They had heard about me. They said, we, you're, you're our guy. We're going to open a bureau in Lagos. Come on down. And how is Lagos? Oh, my. What am I? Oh, the Ogars <laughs> and the Ogarlets. There's two things about Nigeria people oh. should, should need to know. Uh -huh. <clears throat> you either love it or you hate it. There's no in between. Oh, I loved love it. it. I oh, loved, you loved it. Yeah, I loved it. It was fantastic. Right, right, right. I mean, I, to be honest, some of my best friends are Nigerian. To this day, like seven years after I left Nigeria, uh -huh. they still call me. What about your Kenyan friends? What about them? What are you trying to say about your Kenyan friends? <laughs> All of us who are gathered here. <laughs> what I'm saying is Nigeria was a fantastic experience. Oh. I had a rough time. I did a story that wasn't well liked. I did many stories that weren't well liked by Nigerians. Uh -huh. But you just realize Nigerians don't like to be criticized by outsiders. Oh, they'd rather from within. Correct. When they criticize themselves, uh -huh. it's okay. But when you as an outsider go and say, oh, you guys are four or nine. You guys are all con men. You know, they all... But that's the truth. They are all con men. <laughs> no. In Nigeria, you're either a thief or a robot. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's some good people out there. How many? <laughs> you can count them on your fingers. 150 million. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so that was a great experience. Uh-huh. And, you know, and then I left Nigeria, uh, and K24 came call, and I left CNN at, at the end of that a, a story I did about the Niger Delta. You, you know the story. Yes. You know that one. Oh, yeah. Controversial, oh. but fantastic story. Yes. It was, looked like a Hollywood movie. Yes. It was so good. People thought I, I stage managed it. My goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Me? Stage managed. Do I look like Spike Lee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> at an angle, if you pose like this, yeah. Spike. <laughs> So left CNN, came and helped start K24. And my goodness, the you rest blew the as world they, away. The rest as when they When you say. do this, <laughs> end point. <laughs> Folks. Oh my. <laughs> and that was a great journey. Uh -huh. Great journey of five years. Wow. Building a station. And that was 
the only thing people would watch on that station. And switch back to whatever it is. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is power, my friend. Oh, power. oh my. Yes. Oh my. So what are you up to now? Now I work for KTN. Uh -huh. I got a show twice a week. Yes. And it's live, so it's it's real time. Okay. So depending on the subject and the topic, people can tweet in, Facebook, text, live call-ins, and we have a discussion for an hour, live, oh, twice a week. Jeff Greenangel live. Hello. Hello. JKL. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. You're a great inspiration to all the youth. I appreciate that. Uh, what, what, what's next for you? Look, what are your plans? What are your plans? <laughs> I know you've been waiting for this. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah. What are your plans? Look, we're going to launch the book. Uh -huh. I'm going to try and sell it as much as I can okay. across the continent. Because this is a story about us. Yes. I want it to be a story about everyone. Uh -huh. And everyone can relate and people can say, oh, I know that. I, I lived through that. Yeah. And I want to write my story. That's what I want to encourage people to do. Okay. And check this out. Uh -huh. There's one billion people in Africa. Yes. 10% of that is 100 million. 1% uh -huh. of that is 10 million. Okay. I want to sell it to 0.1%. 1 million people. Okay. Do the math. And how much is a book? In Kenya, soft copy, 2,500 shillings. Uh -huh. Hard copy, 3,000 shillings. Times 1 million. Do the math. Can I borrow some money, my brother? M-Pesa? <laughs> no, the amount I want can't fit in M-Pesa. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I, I got to tell you this. The funniest moment in the book. Uh -huh. And there's some pretty funny moments. Tell me about them. The funniest moment ever. You're going to love this, Nick. Uh -huh. We're in New Orleans, Louisiana, yes. covering Hurricane Katrina. Uh -huh. So part of the CNN team sent in to cover this madness. The, you know, the, the levees had broken. The city was flooded. It was crazy. People had fled. Okay. But, you know, every time we do stories, people are going that way. We're going this way. Uh -huh. So we're in downtown New Orleans. Okay. Day 7, 8, 9, we're covering every day live on CNN live and mostly CNN domestic. So one of the biggest shows then on CNN domestic was Larry King live. Okay. So Larry had seen me on Wolf Blitz's show and he said, hey man, who's that guy? I want him on my show. The guy with the shiny hair. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I want that guy. So they put me on it. They called me. They said, Jeff, Larry King live, 9 p.m., prime time. You're, you're the guest. Give us a, a brief on what's the latest in New Orleans. No kidding. So I was excited. Larry, me, he knows me. I get in front of the camera. It's 9 o'clock. Larry's introducing his show. Hey, good evening, everybody. And he does his spiel. <laughs> he says, before we go to our, our, our guest, let's go live to New Orleans. And our reporter there, who's been covering the story since it began, is going to give us a brief update. Okay. Our reporter there is John Coinage. John, what's the latest? <laughs> Did he just call you John Coinage? Larry King. How to punch his lights out. <laughs> <laughs> so there I am. I'm thinking, maybe there's someone else in New Orleans, and it's not me. So there was that light, this light. <laughs> and I said, well, Larry, uh, you know, and I gave him the spiel, right? <laughs> And then, okay, Larry, back to you. Thanks, John. Keep, keep up the good work. John, and then he tells the audience, yeah, that's John Coinage there in New Orleans. Coinage. Man. And then, but then his producers call back and they apologize profusely and they say, listen, Jeff, can we have you back tomorrow? And I promise you he'll pronounce your name right. Uh -huh. How about that? <laughs> you can't make this oh stuff my up. Goodness. <laughs> what a man. Ooh, what a guess. Ooh, what a mistake. What a Larry. <laughs> Coinage. <Yeah. laughs> That's nice. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm going to enjoy the book as well. You must. Yes. This is a page turner. Turn the page. I like already. Who's the little boy? Little boy's my boy. Oh. How about that? That's nice. Jamal. Is this you That's, as little? Yeah. Look at me, look at him. Look at me, look at him. At eight months. Hello. Folks, you've got to get this book. <laughs> it is amazing. I've just opened a page <laughs> and fallen in love with the book. <laughs> Not with the author. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for you being me. Thanks for you being me being you. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> we are the man. We are. <laughs> you the man. You are also a man. No, you the man. <laughs> okay, we are the man. We the man. <laughs> nice. Can I push you one last time? Indeed. Oh. <laughs>